Don't miss a beat, join the notification squad by clicking that bell, you'll get notified every time I upload a video, and be sure to join our Discord to talk and get help with your code. Hey everyone, how's it going? My name is Ned. Welcome back to another episode of our Discord.js coding tutorial series. Today we're going to be doing a Fortnite uh, tutorial. Basically we're going to be doing a Fortnite tracker, so we can take a look here real quick. This is the package we're going to be using. Um, but to use this package, you're going to be you're going to need to get an API key. Um, and to get an API key, you can just click on this link right here, or you can go. Oh, let me reload it. FortniteTracker.com. Create an account and then go over to API. Now, I would definitely take a second to read all the guidelines. There's the full guidelines here, which is just a document. Um, take a time, read that. Notice that. Um, the issue daily bans so don't don't try to bend or break the rules you'll just end up banned and then you won't be able to use this so definitely take a minute to look at that and yeah all right so let's go ahead and get right into that code today i've already set up a couple things i've added a file called keys.json and that's just right here um it's just it's just going to store my key um you can make a json file or you can just w whenever you require fortnite uh you'll go and create we'll do const ft equals new Fortnite, and then inside of here once you get that api key you can put that just in quotes here or you can store it in a json file like me i'm just storing it in a json file because i'm recording so that's why i'm doing that but once that's done we can go ahead and get right into this so we're going to need a couple things first if we take a look actually at this page or actually it here this is how um this is the request that it sends to the fortnite tracker.com so um, you're going to need a platform and an epic nickname. Um, something to keep in mind, the platforms that are accepted are PC, Xbox, Live, and PlayStation Network. Um, I have no idea if mobile is and even planned or anything for this website, but these are what you have right now. Keep in mind, if you are doing Xbox Live or PSN, um, it doesn't take your gamer tag or your PlayStation name or whatever it is. Um, it's going to take the Epic Games nickname, so just keep that in mind. All right, so now that we're actually ready to get in the code, uh, the first thing we're gonna need is a username. So let that equal arg zero because it's gonna, the command is gonna be uh, exclamation point Fortnite. And then here is arg zero, which is, I'm just gonna use my name for example, and then a platform, so PC. All right, so let platform equal args one or We'll just set it to PC if they don't specify. That's all we're really going to need to set up besides the actual data collection. So let's go ahead and do that. And if you guys already haven't, be sure to download Fortnite, uh, the package. So npm install Fortnite. All right. So once that's done, we can go ahead and get right into it. So we're just going to do let data equal ft.getinfo. And then we can actually look inside of this and see how it works. So it's going to take a username. And then it's going to take the platform. So we already have variables set up for that. So username, platform. Then we're going to use, uh, we're going to create an arrow function with the variable data. If I can type. And then we're going to add a catch while we're here. So, bam. So. Let's just go ahead and set up the catch real quick. Console log e, and then we'll do message dot channel dot send. And we'll just do something pretty generic, like couldn't find that username in the database. You know, something just sounds kind of nerdy. Um, and now that that is done, we can go ahead and get the information. So, if you look here, this is an example response. Um, we're gonna go ahead and console log our data real quick. Um, just to show you what it looks like and that it does look like that. So console.log data. So let's go ahead and start this bot up. Node uh, index.js. So I'm going to make this a lot bigger because it's going to take up the entire screen. So let's go to our general or whatever, your Discord server. And I'm just going to put Mr. Netinator. All right. And there it is, the object. So what we're going to be messing with today is just lifetime stats. So to get that, we're going to go ahead and do... All right, we're going to delete data. Or not data, but console log. 
And I'm going to go ahead and make this a little bit smaller so I can see. And then we're going to do let stats equal data dot lifetime stats. Now to get things like kills and uh, what else we want matches played, wins, uh, KD, time played, and average survival time. That's all the data we're going to be using today. Um, you could definitely use more. Um, I don't think I've played enough to have enough data here. All right, so now that we have the lifetime stats set up, we can go ahead and take a look underneath that. So they're going to be saved under a couple different things. So it's going to be saved under stat, and then we're going to find that this value right here by um, searching for matches played, wins, and etc. So let's go ahead and set that up. It's going to be a lot of the same code, so I'm going to copy and paste some of this. So let kills equal stat dot find and then we can do an arrow use an arrow function and then do s dot stat equal kills and then let's go ahead and end that with a semicolon and copy it paste it four and five and six so let's just change a couple of these variables so kills wins wins let's just change this to kd KD, uh, M play for matches played, matches played, and then time played, and then T played, and what's the last one? Average survival time, so AS time, and then average survival time. All right. So now all we need to do is set up the embed. So let's just go ahead and do that quickly. All right. So let embed equal new discord dot rich embed set title Fortnite stats set author. And here we can do um, data dot username because we don't have to. We can just do put username. But since we are already opening up data, this, we can just use that. And that is saved right here. So set color. And I believe I have my config set up. So we're going to use orange. So config dot orange. And then we want to add some fields. So add field kills. And then we'll do kills dot value and we're doing dot value because it's saved underneath um so underneath kills there's a, another entry called value and then there's going to be that amount so i'm just going to go ahead and copy and paste this a couple times and to make it look nicer we're going to use inline four five and six all right so let's just change a couple of these wins wins KD KD all right matches played and played time played T played and then average survival time Now that that is all done, we can go ahead and send it. Embed. And we're good to go. So start up that bot. Let's go ahead and test it out a little bit. So actually, one thing I do want to do before we do that, um, let's just message that delete it at the beginning. This is just to keep the code or the chats cleaner. All right. So Fortnite, Mr. Netinator. And there it is. So all my stats show up. It looks really nice, clean embed. Um, so let's try Fortnite. Couldn't find that username in the database. So there we go. And as you can see, it returns player not found. And that is the console log error. So that's the error being console logged. That's going to be it for today, guys. Hope you guys enjoyed. If you did, go ahead and leave that like, comment, rate. And subscribe. I don't think a rate is a thing anymore. But yeah, if you can, go ahead. 
Um, if you have any questions, go ahead and leave or go ahead and join our Discord server. That link is going to be down below in the description as always. And I will see you guys next time. Peace.